everybody. This week we're kind of switching gears. We've been talking about some of the stories that Jesus told about the parables, the lost coin, the lost sheep. This week we're going to start talking about some stories that are about Jesus, that tell us about some of the things that Jesus did. And we're going to begin with the story of the first miracle that we have recorded about Jesus. So what are miracles anyway? They seem like they're magical. There are these beyond belief things that happen, very unexpected. Jesus did a lot of miracles, things involving the weather, controlling the weather, healing people. And all of these things were a way not for Jesus to get people to pay attention to him, but they were a way for Jesus to show that Jesus was one with God, that Jesus had control over the wind and the waves on the sea, and that he can have control over creation, that he could heal those who were sick. And healing people, that's a part of the story of the Old Testament that tells us about the coming of the Messiah, the anointed one of God, the chosen one, Jesus. So healing was very important. But this story isn't about calming the sea or healing anyone. It's a story that happens very early on in our story of Jesus in the Bible. It comes from the Gospel of John, and it comes right after Jesus has begun to choose his disciples. I'm going to read it to you from a Bible translation called The Message. It was translated by a pastor and a man who studied the ancient languages of the Bible, and he wanted to put the Bible into words that were easier for us to understand. So here's the story of Jesus' first miracle. Three days later, there was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also guests. When they started running out of wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told him, You're just about to run out of wine. And Jesus said, Is that any of our business, mother? Yours or mine? This isn't my time. Don't push me. But she went ahead anyway, telling the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Six big stone water jugs were there. Each one held between 20 and 30 gallons. Jesus ordered the servants, fill the pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now, Jesus said, fill your pitchers and take them to the host. And they did. And when the host tasted the water, it had become wine. Now he didn't know what had happened. Only the servants knew. And he called out to the bridegroom, everybody I know begins their party with their finest wines. And then after the guests have had their fill, they bring in the cheap wine. But you have saved the best until now. This act in Cana of Galilee was the first sign that Jesus gave, the first glimpse of his glory, and his disciples believed him. In Jesus' time, weddings were long, long things. They lasted for days, and everybody came to the party, everybody who lived in the village. And having a lot of wine to drink, because water wasn't really good to drink back then, was very important. 
And so running out of wine would have been a terrible thing to happen at this big party. And Jesus fixed that. But he didn't tell anybody. He didn't do it to call attention to himself. He did it to show his disciples who he was. It's good for us to do good things, too. To help when we can and where we can. Not to get praise from other people but because it's what God wants us to do, too. Let's say a quick prayer together, shall we? Gracious and loving God, thank you for giving us some power to help people, to choose the right thing, to be helpful and kind when we can. Not so people look at us and give us praise, but so that people look at us and know that we are your children. Be with us today and every day. Guide our feet on the right path and help us to remember that we are your children too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Talk to you again soon. Bye.